Diane and this is the Angel Hug for uh, Monday October the 7th and I just want to say very quickly thank you very much for being so patient with me because I had lots of things that I had to sort out lots of changes big changes um, that I had to adjust to and there was just lots going on so I took a break and I also felt it was important for me to not be online quite so much for a while but I was still doing all the usual things behind the scenes still working with clients with students with uh, doing healing sessions on Skype and readings and all of those things and also working on creative projects and um, yeah just lots of different things and it just felt as if I needed to create some space to make uh, make room for this new kind of upgrade that was happening so um, and I might share more about that with you at some point but I just want to get on with the reading now because it's been quite a long time and thank you so much for all the lovely emails and messages and the posts on my birthday and all of those things that was really really lovely and I just um, yeah I hope it's been okay all out there I know it's been quite turbulent and um, I'm going to start with a lovely new deck that I've found that I've discovered recently it's the Guardian Angels deck it's by Tony Carmine Salerno, I think. Um, I think that's how you say it, by Blue Angel uh, Publishing. And this is what the box looks like. And they are gorgeous because they're heart-shaped. And I absolutely love that about them. So I'm going to start without a theme, without any particular plan, just for this week, just, to, just as a welcome back thing, to get used to all of this again. I am just going to go straight from the heart <laughs> in every way and I'm going to pick one of these cards just to see what the energy is that we're in at the moment and what we need to know for today, Monday the 7th. Dreams. Love that card and I love the colour and it says this is a wondrous time of healing and positive transformation. Embrace life each moment and keep focused on your dreams. Retain the purity of your vision and you will draw success to you all you ever wished for, even those dreams which seemed a distant uh, dream, are about to manifest. So this I can absolutely relate to and I just want to reinforce that message by just saying, okay, this is a time of huge change and transformation and what's happening is that in recent weeks and months we've been pushed and pushed and pushed into seeing, connecting with um, being really, really conscious of the highest and brightest and boldest vision that we can possibly have for our lives. In other words, our dreams, our true dreams. And the outcome of that is now to find ourselves in this place where we are able to be honest about what those dreams are, to see them in front of us and to see the possibility, the potential for them manifesting very quickly at this time. So really this is just a reminder to stay very clear, to stay very focused on those dreams, to trust our hearts about knowing what those dreams are and letting those dreams be okay, whatever they are. Because if we don't stay connected with the heart and allow those dreams to move through us and to create our future potential, then we will continue going around and around and around the wheel of confusion of why am I here, what am I doing, uh, which is based somewhere in listening to other people and their ideas about what's right for us. So today is going to be a really important day to get in touch with what's really at the heart of what your dreams are and be honest with yourself about what those dreams are. Be honest with yourself about what it is that you absolutely have to do or go around and round in circles. What is the thing that you do that takes away all the questions, that takes away all the confusion. When you're in it, you're completely immersed in it, you're completely ecstatically happy doing that thing and it just makes all the other nonsense and noise just disappear. So today is going to be a day to focus on that. And I'm going to just quickly say before I go, I love what I love about these cards is that although they don't have pictures, they are really colourful and I'm going to really work with them on the, in the sense that they offer lots of words that can be a good uh, triggering point for maybe a bit of channeling, maybe for some good questions that you're welcome to post under the video and also just as a conversation starter. So I'm going to be using those quite a lot I think. They're my new kind of um, really really in here passion 
in terms of cards and um, yeah I'm interested to see what they bring in the weeks ahead. I will be using other cards as well still but today that's where I'm going to start with um, coming back to, to speak to you and to hopefully guide your day um, from a, an inspired place. So have a lovely day everyone and thank you for listening. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.